guys, welcome back to our channel, Beauty Made Piece by Piece. And we are back in the Ipsy Corner, getting ready to do October Tipsy Ipsy. Of course, we got our wine going on. Let's do a cheers to beauty and a cheers to you guys. Right. October 2017's glam bag is the Spellbound glam bag, and it is adorable. Go ahead. And of course, we got the little card in the bag, and of course, I am obsessed with this little quote in the back here. It says, In my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. I just think that is adorable. Might be my top one favorite thing they've ever written on a card. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just think that's super cute. So this will definitely be going in my makeup area once we're done here. The bag this month, we were just talking about it, is I think beautiful. I love it. This is it. Um, it's all about like crimson and lace and very... Halloween vibes. But like vampy. Yeah, like, like sexy. sexy. Yeah, yeah, sexy vampy. The zipper of it has a little bat, which we, you know, we love our little details. Yes. But yeah, um, it's like a very matte and smooth fabric, but it has like um, a fake lace overlay, if you can mm -hmm. see that. The only thing that, just because I'm a weirdo, is that my Ipsy right there is off-centered. That's the only thing that bugs me. Other than that, I think it's beautiful. It's well made. It seems sturdy. It is. I really like it too. Mine's a little crooked, but again, that's just because we're crazy and look at yeah. details like that. <laughs> so we got, I believe, three items the same this month and two that are different. So let's start with one that we got the same. And I actually um, oh yeah, redeem points, so I will have six products this time. Let's start with that. Go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so I redeemed 500 points for this crown brush. It's the C441 Pro blending crease brush and I did not realize that it's actually made with goat hair which is also called Capra. I haven't worked with many like natural hair brushes and I kind of researched it and just so you guys know that even though it is goat hair no, go no goats were harmed. It's just like how we get a haircut. They just clip the hair because when I first saw that I was kind of like oh at first like I was kind of weird right? not that like all my makeup is vegan or vegan or anything like that but just still just knowing that it's like goat hair I was kind of like oh but then well, I'm a cosmetologist I'm a hairdresser so like looking it up it was straight like I was taking my daughter to get a haircut you know so they are not harmed and the goat bristles will actually pick up a lot of pigment but it says that for blending it's pretty much like flawless like you it kind of blends itself even that's what it was saying I, I did forget to use it tonight oh, that's awful but yeah I forgot to use it but the bristles are soft but then again have like a little bit of like firmness to them so I feel like it would be really nice but not scratchy yeah not like hurt so I feel like it would be really good to kind of get in there and just really do your work and it's just black with silver writing and does have the number of the brush and what the brush's name is and i'm really happy it was 500 points and on the crown brush website it was retailed for 3.99 the first items that we got that are the same are these two sheet masks by bio republic skincare we got pomegranate crush which is for illuminating and cucumber breeze which is for soothing i haven't tried this brand i think you have right? i have i've gotten a couple from them before and it's a really good brand each mask has like a half a bottle of serum in it but yet it's not like dripping what have you ever got this face mask you put it on it's yeah. like gross like dripping i love it though because i'm like I, I don't like skin. it when it's that much. I'm <laughs> on my shirt. I can't see this. I was telling her, and this is weird, and it could be a coincidence, but I'm not sure. When you review your products on the Ipsy app or the website, you can also review, like, your bag as a whole. And last month, I like, love my bag, love my items, but I would really, really love to try some sheet masks and then if you guys go back and see we just did a full face tutorial with ipsy products we only had one foundation so i said i also would love to try a foundation so here comes october and in my bag not only were my sheet mask but was also this makeup forever ultra hd foundation in y225 that's awesome no it totally could be a huge coincidence that's really really possible i mean that's but a crazy it could, coincidence it really is two out of two of what you suggested like yes. what you requested that's a nice little sample size you know i would like it from yours it's a good shade match they have an incredible shade range i used it tonight and it was 
very nice to use. It spread very evenly on my skin. You guys know I have problematic skin with dryness. I just want to add that I wasn't a huge fan of this because I am a full coverage mask girl um, and she's not. So right. this really says it right here because I didn't even mention this to her. And even though like the f formulation and the foundation itself was good, I didn't prefer it it's because thin. It doesn't, it's, it's like a, like a light to medium coverage, I'd say. Yeah, it is. It reminded me actually a lot, now that you say it, of like a tinted moisturizer because yeah. it's so like, it's real thin and light and weightless. Yeah. So, so yeah. I think our Ipsy, when we did our look, so that was like the second time I only ever used it because I yeah. just, I like my full coverage. So yeah, you full coverage girls out there, this might not be your favorite unless you mix it with something. Right. But um, but like I said, the formulation, the foundation itself was really good. It was nice and smooth, like mm -hmm. she said, but just not yeah. the best coverage. So another thing that we both got was this loose eyeshadow pigment from Meech and Meech. I had never heard of their brand before, no. and she hadn't either. We both got the shade Beige, which is not what you would think of as beige. It is actually this whirly orangey shade. Yeah. We both have it on our eyes tonight. We sure do. And of course, this being a pigment, um, you can do it either wet or dry. I went to use it wet, and I mean, I have a lot of pigments. Like I said, just my whole makeup collection is anywhere from like super cheap to super like high end. And I went to wet this tonight thinking it was going to be like, bam, like I was so excited to see this as like turn into metal, mm -hmm. you know, be foiled. And like this is what it did. I mean, you can see it. It's beautiful. It, I was just gonna say it's still beautiful. But it's not what I expected from most pigments. Just you know, it's usually like I told, like, I explained like metal. If you mm -hmm. use gold, it's like you have twenty four karat. It gold foils your eyes. it almost yeah. up automatically. And you said, now I rarely will like wet my eyeshadows pigments. You do it a lot more than I do it. And I was like, but you know what? I'm gonna do it tonight. <laughs> so I wet my brush with some setting spray, dipped in there, and I honestly felt like it got harder to work with with a wet brush. It didn't want to pick up the product or if it did it was like really sporadic on the bristles. So I actually had to like switch out brushes and bring in a dry brush and put it on that way and even use my um, ring finger to put it on there which of those both applied better than a wet brush. Right. It was hard to work with. Yeah. <clears throat> but I kept on it just because like I want to keep saying, like it is gorgeous. The color is gorgeous, pretty. but it's yeah. not what I was expecting. I was so excited to wet that brush and dip in there. These are made out of all natural minerals. They are cruelty free. They are supposed to be like very blendable and buildable. Like they have certain colors, different colors that you can build on, and you know to make a, a full eye look, I guess. And remember, I mean, it, I don't know if I read if it is, says this on their website, so. If you do doubt this at all, make sure you do your own research. But most pigments you can also add with like Vaseline or lip gloss and make lip gloss. Or you can add with nail polish or any something. kind of like wetting medium and yeah. make a different product out of. Like I said, if you have any doubt, don't take my word because I did not see that for this particular one that it said that. And I don't want anybody getting hurt or anything like that. I received <laughs> this liquid matte lipstick from MDM Flow, which I had never even heard of, so I was super excited about this. And it is mm. in the shade Retro, which Ipsy describes as the most perfect and flattering vintage pink they've ever seen. As to that, I say hell to the knot because, like, in package, it looks like it actually really would be, like, a good pinkish nude. Even on the hand, it looks super wearable. So. Got, did my makeup, matched my shirt with some pink and some green, and was so excited to throw this on, put it on. You guys, it was like Barbie pink on my lips. I was like, I can't do this. No. It's crazy. I know. So I had to throw some gold on top of it. So I do have it on my lips tonight, but I also have on some BH Cosmetics, Foxy Gold, mm -hmm. and then another gold on top. What did you think about the formulation? Was I love the formulation. Really? It wasn't yeah. sticky or anything? No, it wasn't. And you know what? I'm glad you said that because I wanted to mention the applicator. I love the applicator too because it actually is like really, really flexible. Yeah. And sometimes you get those liquid lipsticks or lip glosses where like the wand doesn't move at all. But this was awesome because I was small mouth, so like getting in those corners is really, really hard sometimes. I really love the wand. I love the formula. I love how it feels on your lips even though it dries down to a matte. It's not uncomfortable, which we've spoken many times about how we're not super fans of matte lips because of like the, feeling, the comfortable, right? yeah, the, the comfort level of it. 
But that was the down downfall for me was the shade, and unfortunately this was the only shade that Ipsy offered this month. I'm gonna go into my number one top favorite of my bag this month, and this is the Satin Touch Blushes from Essence Cosmetics. Others would either get um, Satin Coral, which is the one I got, which is like a warm, orangey, deep coral, or Satin Love, which is described as the perfect nude rose. I was telling her when they give like, because they don't tell you which shade like you're getting. Like they state that you will either get this one or this one. Yeah. And when it does that, it seems like no matter what it is, whatever shade I choose, I never get it. I was telling her, I just need to stop. Because as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I want satin love. You know, it's like the rosy, perfect nude. But of course, I got the, the satin coral, which... Don't get me Still wrong. so pretty. It is beautiful. The formulation is amazing. It definitely has like a glow sheen, but it's not shimmery at all. The powder itself looks completely matte, but it does. It has this like pretty sheen to it that just kind of gives like a really natural glow flush. I have it on tonight, but I have highlighted and stuff over it. If you guys can see that there. It's looking good. And um, like I said, I'm not a crazy like coral peach blush fan. I will like wear it when I do my eyes a certain way. But it's a gorgeous color it's and really these blushes you guys cost $2.99 on the website. And they are so smooth and so pigmented. I definitely did not need a lot and I'm just really excited. Like I said, it's even pretty. though this isn't my favorite color, this is my number one thing I got in my bag this month. I'm really excited about this. Last thing that we got together, and I think this is my last product, is this 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay in the shade Perversion, which is just their black shade. They have a, a, a couple like um, different blacks. This one, on Ipsy, it described it as like inky shade, which when I tried it, because I have, have owned this for a, a few years now, mm -hmm. and but I... I do want to say I wear contacts and I have an issue of wearing these on my um, waterline because it really bothers my eyes, but she doesn't, so no. it might just be me. But like this shade, it, when you draw it on, it looks like ink and it kind of has like a like a sheen or even like a glow to it. Yeah. But then it dries and it doesn't dry all the way matte, but pretty matte. I just wanted to state that because a lot of people look for those matte eyeliners. Right. And this one, like I said, it doesn't dry all the way down to my perfect matte, but um, once it is dry, you guys, it will not budge, but it does give you time to smudge it out. Yes, yeah, like, you can see, like I just smudged it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I did, I used it on my waterline. Also, I do want to say too, I was reading last night, they were saying, you know, crisp lines, even cat eye and all this stuff. And even though this is a pencil that can be sharpened, you have to remember the the formula of it is like that very soft formulation. So no matter how much you sharpen the pencil, you will never get that sharp. It's point. always going to be malleable. So that was the thing that kept bothering me. I kept saying like sharp point and all this stuff. And I was thinking, I mean, there, there are pros out there that probably could do a perfect right. cut out with that. But I couldn't, I couldn't do like a cut eye with that. My last thing that I got, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. In our Ipsy Win that we got, I actually got the loose powder, which I have used over the year numerous times. I usually just use it in my pore areas. If you guys have watched us, you know that I am all about like pore minimizing products. I love my professional and all that stuff. And this is another powder that I really like. Now mine did come broken, but I wrote them and I haven't heard back yet, but it's a cute little sample size. It has a little sponge and everything. It's a great powder. It's very silky. It's even made with silk, collagen, and antioxidant rich ingredients, which is very anti-aging, aging, very good for your skin. Your skin will be happy. It's supposed to give you like a instant airbrushed look. It fills in all your lines and pores, and it does do that, you guys. Even like the loose. I didn't use this tonight. I was telling her that I was doing a lot of research and I, many, many people will say that this gives a really, really bad flashback. Knowing that we were filming tonight and also we usually take pictures for our Instagram and stuff afterwards, I didn't want that situation. So I didn't use this tonight. And 
I feel like I probably have used the loose before in mm -hmm. pictures and haven't noticed it. So I'm not, I'll have to get back to you whether like the loose is different. But there are tons and tons of people saying that this gives like great, like white really? face flashback. So be careful with that. But if my pores are gone and I'm not taking pictures, I don't care. I think it's amazing stuff like this. This ends our October Tipsy Ipsy video. We are so glad to be back yes. and excited for the months to come. We had a blast tonight. Yes. Yeah, so what did you guys get in your Ipsy bag this month? What did you like? What did you love? What did you hate? Also, remember, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, we really, really appreciate it. Also, if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe, please. You can subscribe by... You can hit that red button down below or at the end of this video, just scroll over these faces you'll see at the end. And you can subscribe that way. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to become part of our notification squad so you can know when we post a new video. And we will see you next month back in our Tipsy Ipsy Corner. So until then, please remember that just like life, beauty is a puzzle. You gotta take it day by day. And peace. Bye, peace. Bye, guys.